If you want to roam around with some Romer G switches, this is the Logitech G613 right here. Here are those Romer Gs. All right, let's talk about what I'm holding in my hands right here. It's a very sleek, minimalistic keyboard that has the light speed technology and the battery life should last with most people up to 18 months. And that's pretty much what it is. There's a couple really cool features and I'll cover those first. And then we'll talk about some of the sacrifices you have to make to get into a keyboard like this. All right, first off, my favorite feature on the entire keyboard, right up here on the top, we have a toggle between light speed wireless and between Bluetooth. So you, you can hook it up with any device via Bluetooth, you know, your phone or whatever. And they've included a little cell phone stand. So here's how most of you guys are gonna be using this at home. Put your Discord chat or something on your phone, set it on the desk or, you know, whatever other chat app or instant message, whatever, even text message. Put that on your desk. And then while you're playing your games, you're in your computer. And as soon as you wanna interact with the chat, you can just press the Bluetooth button, type a few things, that goes to your phone, press the light speed button, you're right back in your game. If you're a streamer or someone like that, this is a really nice, seamless, quick way to jump into the chat, say a few things. If you're someone who wants to play games and have your chat open at the same time, that's also really convenient. Or if you just wanna answer text messages and stuff like that, without having to leave whatever desktop app you're in, you just smack these two buttons to toggle back and forth seamlessly between Bluetooth and the light speed wireless. Light speed wireless also, guys, one millisecond response time, I, it's, you never know that you don't have a cable. So all you guys out there who are like yelling and screaming about wireless being inferior have not done your research. This technology is really cool, guys. Um, one millisecond response time is what they claim, but really for me, it's just sitting this, you know, sitting down beside this and wireless, or like a wired device, and you just, you guys, you can't tell the difference. Let's do the uh, dimensions right now. So first off, in millimeters, 478 by 216 by 33 and it weighs 1410 grams but you're gonna need batteries in there two AA batteries make it uh, 1460 grams all right now in inches 18.8 by 8.5 by 1.3 weighs 3.1 pounds or with batteries 3.2 pounds so the Romer G switches are Logitech's sort of um, one size fits all answer to gaming switches 70 million click uh, lifestyle so that's nice you know they're pretty pretty damn durable on these the actuation is quicker than with a cherry or a, you know kale or whatever gatron the actuation is around 1.5 i mean there's some low profile switches out there that are trying to compete with this but 1.5 so it's 25 percent faster as far as the actuation goes compared to a cherry mx switch the feel on these is if you're familiar with cherry mx switches they feel a lot like a brown switch except um something about them just feels slightly softer it only requires 45 grams um, of actuation pressure to mash these buttons down. So if you're a badass that uses green switches, you're gonna be like, wow, this feels like mashed potatoes. They also do not have a, you know, a click. They have a tactile bump. You'll feel a little bump, you know, right in the middle of there. So they're not like reds where they're just like all smooth. There is a bump in the middle. So you're gonna feel the actuation, but you're not gonna hear the click. So that's actually pretty good when it comes to people who wanna do streaming and that sort of thing, because they're not gonna be that loud. As far as the overall uh, layout and the style goes, Guys, you can't change anything. This is it. I mean, the, 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 you know, the wrist pad, it does not come off. To me, that's a pretty uh, big negative because I know there's a lot of people out there who have special wrist pads they want to use, or they just want to lower the footprint on the desk and have no wrist pad whatsoever. That's kind of how I like to do it. So having to have the wrist pad was like, a, well, I guess I have to have it. Thanks, Logitech. I would love to have been able to remove that, but it really looks like Logitech has gone for, you know, keeping the bottom line for themselves as low as possible, making it one very sleek mold and just removing a lot of the bells and whistles and making it one size fits all. So, you know, you're gonna have to exactly want this or you're gonna have to want some of the features enough to have to deal with some of the other caveats. As far as the, uh, the keyboard goes, no backlighting whatsoever because that's gonna kill your battery life. I know a lot of you guys would have said like, you know what, I would take a six month battery life if I could have a really dim backlight for dark rooms and that sort of thing. And I, I hear you. You could either learn how to type in the dark or you could uh, get something with a cable that you can plug in across the room and get an extender cable. Those are your options right now because this one is just gonna be dark. Um, over here on the side, you do have gaming hotkeys, G1 through six. These in the software will allow you to sync up with different uh, uh, applications and uh, you could set different profiles for different applications. And when you open up that application, it'll be like, oh, you're in Photoshop. So all these hotkeys are gonna be just for Photoshop. Oh, you're in this game. All these hotkeys are gonna be you know, specific to that game. So you can set up all kinds of profiles. You can also go in and record macros uh, with the software. 
you guys who have used the Logitech software before know how easy it is and these gamer keys can be pretty handy. All right, up here in the top cluster, um, we do have a game mode key and it's a toggle. No accidental press is gonna happen right there. When you toggle it over, it not only turns off the Windows key, so you can not accidentally smack the Windows key and minimize your game, um, it allows you to go into the software and set entire clusters of keys that turn off when you're in the uh, game mode. So if you don't want this half of the keyboard to be working at all, go ahead and turn it off. Over here on the side, we have our media keys, the you know, play stop forward and back, and then uh, the mute button up here. And then there's no roller on this, so for a really expensive keyboard, I know a lot of you guys love the roller. You're gonna have to get used to smacking up and down as fast as you can, because that's just what you got. On the back, let's take a look. A nice little texture, rubber all the way across the bottom there to keep it nice and, and uh, stationary on the desk. Rubber up here on the top. Now our batteries are gonna go right here. And we also have our receiver in there, the little USB receiver, in case you're traveling, I'm gonna store that in there. And it comes with an extender cable, so you can like plug it into the back of your computer and then plug the receiver into the extender cable. So all in all, a premium price keyboard with premium features in a shell that is, in my opinion, not as nice as a lot of things that Logitech or many other companies have produced. So you're really paying for the features and the wireless technology and you're forced to use this keyboard and it's minimal. Some people love the minimal. If it's what you want, it's awesome. But if you need a few other things, sacrifices have to be made. So there you have it, the, the G613. I do like it. Be sure to grab one of these shirts. I have my festive one on. It matches, guys. Go to the store. There'll be, there'll be repercussions. There'll be repercussions if I can't say the word repercussions. <laughs>